aggressive expansion with the Muslims a little bit. Hey, so I have Timmy, uh, Chakatai, and Uzbek. It's fine. Although we don't have call for pizza yet, and we won't for another year. In the meantime, he's still getting subsidies. There's no reason for me to piece that out just yet then. Uh, still want to keep my relations with Uzbek somewhat high. It doesn't seem like we're going to be able to keep that in a positive, though. Nah, you know what? I'm going to peace out Delhi now, because it'll be easier to check who to improve relations with uh, for Balochistan. Stop paying free maintenance for a month and then that happens. Fun times. Of course we are pretty close to getting this, so... Well, whatever. I can peace it out and not core the land. Yeah, this is fine. Let's just piece that out. We won't core the land until we pick up... Uh, Core creation cost reduction. Now, Balochistan, if we piece you out, what's gonna happen? Ardalan, Ashuran, and Hejas. Ardalan, Ashuran, and Hejas. Also, Bengal can't get him a belly. How much am I making a month? Exactly zero! <laughs> Is that still the case? No, that's not going to be the case after this guy comes comes of off in, in office. So I'm going to check this out. God, fighting rebels is hard. I lost. I legit lost. Wow. I'm amazed. Let's pay for this for Yeah, so I'm gonna need a bit of extra guys, it seems. When is the Peace of Maul over? Uh, Peace of Maul is gonna be over until 52. Turks in Iraq that by right? this time they should have destroyed to me. Yeah, I know. They've uh, they've been playing really slow. Not that I mind though, because we're probably going to be at odds with them if we're churning our way over to Germany. So let me take care of that one first. Okay, now we're gonna tech up. Switch into the guns unit. I want the the one with the most uh, damage. And I can start coring this now. Also, we should be pretty close to picking up a final. No, there's still two more. Okay, maxed out those relations, so let's see here. Yeah. Thingy is not going to be part of that, Azuran, so we can piece this out. But we don't have the admin to core it anyway, so, and golf pizza isn't going to happen for a long time. So may as well not do that for now. Am I still allies with Nepal? Yep. We can't declare any new wars for two years because we've got a uh, Regency Council. And this Zareva Kanda shit isn't gonna fire if I park my army on top of that. So 
So I'm gonna get 20,000 guys. On top of Ravakanda, and let's see, this Kangri. Okay, so my guy took office. Yeah, oh, this is all fine. Also, we, we shouldn't have started coring anyway because we didn't have Shiva. Now we do. Now it's slightly cheaper. Although we do have Call for Pizza on uh, Baluchistan now and... Ah, fuck me! Uh, he had uh, Rebels. So now we actually have to go kill these. Any tips for taking down QQ as to bear stand in the first war? It's been really hard since the defensive fort battle changes. Uh, well, you can build a fort in Gilan. You could also release uh, uh, Persia as a vassal. Then you get a little bit of extra troops. And then, you know, uh, you release Persia as a vassal. You, you could even make them into a march for a nice little short time boost. And then you declare war in QQ, wait, you wait until they enter Gilan, make sure uh, Persia uh, attaches to you, and then you sit yourself in Wazadran, you wait until he enters this, and then you attack. And you do that again and 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 again until he's out of troops, and then you take him out. Game with no loans? Now we've got loans, we've got one. I like how I have to justify that. It's like financially, financially a okay. Like, why don't you have enough loans? You bastard. Ay, 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 ay. I really want an unrest guy. So then half of these rebellions won't fire. Nah, it's not in the stars for me. Alright, so now we need to figure out what to do. Um, I'm thinking about declaring war on Koch, and then we could set the pause co belligerent. Then we could eat all three of these. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Also, I'm beginning to realize why the Ottomans... No, I don't know. But, um... Yeah! I'm gonna go for a cup of coffee, though, so I'll be back in a couple minutes. In which of the provinces am I building is worth it? Uh... All of them after a while...
Oh. Oh. NRN? Oh, that, that totally meant to say BRP. Oh. Must take loans. Nah, not really. Ah, oh, speaking about loans. Repay all loans! Fantastic. I got a lot of rebellions on my face right now. A lot of rebellions. A lot of different rebellions, too. I don't want to raise the autonomy everywhere. Still though, I'd like to prevent this one and fight that one and then we'll declare our next war. Oh come on, Reva Candy. What is needed at 1740 for World Conquest in normal as the Otters for a one tag World Conquest? Uh, 9,100 9, would be the exact number. Now watch me beat these and then come back and watch these spawn. That'd be funny. Come on, man. Oh, 4.6, okay. So we're gonna drop it down here. No, I'll drop it down once and then we'll have, we have to go deal with these. Who are my vassals? Uh, Bangle Cat is my vassal. Let's just let them enter our land. Guess I'm gonna hit that because I'm at 8k at 1660. Yeah, it'll be more than okay. There is a slight catch though, and that is assuming that you, you know, have max or... No, that is assuming you have max admin point gain and that you go to 200% overextension. For every coring cycle of 24 months. The your coring cycles as the Ottomans are slightly shorter than this. Your coring cycles as the Ottomans are slightly shorter, so... Right, so it was Koch, right? We're fighting Koch and then we'll set Nepal as Kobolitrid. And that brings in Jarkant. Do any of these people have forts? Yes, Jarkant has a fort, but he's not paying for it. So I'd want my army in Patna, and I want to uh, fully fund everything. Well, not everything, but this one's fine. I'd like to fully fund that thing. And other than that, I'd like to be at uh, force limit. Just to make this nice, easy, and cheap. There you go. Nice disaster. Oh, yeah. That's, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. However, I'd like to get their influence slightly below... Uh, Slightly below 85. 
And could we get a general from these? We can. See if he's in good. He's terrible. But I'll have to do, I suppose. Just realized something. I don't have claims on any of these people. <laughs> that was kind of stupid. But yeah, I also realized something else, and that is we should probably get a CB on Orissa. As well. And maybe. Guard yet. Because then, through Gartet, we can fight Andra, and then we don't have to fight uh, VJ together with Andra. I still forgot to, uh, to deal with this Rewakanda problem. Man, espionage ideas is amazing. Look at that. Two points a month and I only need 15. So espionage ideas, man. It's really nice. Fuck off, please. Let's fabricate on Koch. Yeah, or like I said, we invade... Oh, Independence Guaranteed by Andre. Okay, never mind. So, we invade Koch and then we set Nepal's Goblet Trent. <laughs> Subjugation. Jarkan should join one day. Hello, Jarkan. Jarkan. There you go. Well, you're done goofed. Oh no. No, well, this is shit because we declared war. I think we declared war at the start of the month. But this is going to give them time to pay for the stupid fucking fort. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I know I have the vast life. I should probably cancel that because I'm not going to be doing any of that. See how good these so called Prussians of the East really are. Prussians of the East. <laughs> what a joke. Trying to steal my legacy for me. Nice flag, you dipshit. Sure, I'll take the Merc Maintenance. And let me just make sure he can't build any new units. And I do indeed. 
indeed enjoy a good story. Actually, these spy networks really help out. I was taking a shit just now, and I uh, was thinking about the game, as uh, as, I, as I do. And um, you know, if I'm gonna get to Europe, I'm gonna need to steal a lot of maps from people. Well, I could try to ally them and then get maps that way, but that would take a long time. And you know, with me getting spy networks this fast, I'm gonna be able to steal a lot of maps real quick. This uh, is good. Oh yes, the Prussia of the East. Such impressive. Much wow. This changes everything. Flory is falling for dares. I dare you to doubt Timmy and Kebab at the same time right now. Uh, yeah, but what do I get if I do that and win? <laughs> I don't even have a CP. Oh! No guy wouldn't join! No guy would enjoy it, we should totally dial that right now. <laughs> Such streamer, much salt. <laughs> well, what am I salty about? I've got nothing to be salty about. I'll send you nudes. Ah. Uh, that is interesting. But there is... Do you have golden chest here though? Because... I mean, I do have a thing for that. Alright, so next up we're, we're gonna fight Garjet, right? Yes, we fight Garjet, we force him to annul their shit with Orissa, and we annul Andros treaties with the... Uh, oh, he's building a fort. He's building a fort in Shrikalam! So we need to book it. Could we finish these sieges up real quick? Okay, we are seeing the yellow bar move, so the yellow bar is indicative of how uh, fast that's gonna go. And I want you in my belly. And as you can see, people like the Timurids absolutely do not care about you eating uh, Hindus. Did that just say offer fossilization equals yes? Well, who might say no to free land, right? No, I am, because then I have to fight uh, this guy on his own. No, because I could just declare war on Orissa. Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll suck dicks for loans! <laughs> <laughs> oh really? This is this expensive? Oh shit. No, we do have unbalanced tech, so we are automatically making use of it. That's not going to change anytime soon. <laughs> Shit, I need to get out of this war. 
fuck. No, no more excuses. Now I've got my coffee and I'm still making mistakes. Let's uh, improve relations with... Let's not send them an insult now. Stop uh, spying on him because my guy might get caught. And we can uh, stop paying for the troops. How is this still a thing? <laughs> of course, he's gonna get really pissed off. He's probably not gonna be willing to ally me after this. Like after I eat Nepal and Koch? That's super, That's like so much aggressive expansion. There's no way he's gonna... Well, we'll see. Okay, so we got Koch down. We can peace out Nepal. 68%. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. And Koch is going to be... Everlasting friendship. Still threatened towards me. Alright, I'm gonna send them a gift. Just because I don't want them to uh, get any ideas about, you know, going disloyal and wanting to eat my face. And uh, kill these. Apparently they didn't really care about Koch. In fact, they didn't care at all. 